Ohio State Michigan game in the Big House. You know, today a rivalry game that at times seems as important as life itself until we realize that it isn't. For those who dress in maize and blue, there is no greater praise than to be called a Michigan man. Earlier this week on Monday, five-year-old Chad Carr, the grandson of Michigan Hall of Fame football coach Lloyd Carr, died of brain cancer. And as Gene Wojciechowski joins us now, Gino, I think that Chad showed us and epitomized what it means to be a Michigan man. Reese, just two days before Chad's death, his parents, Jason and Tammy, invited us to their house in Ann Arbor and let us share time with them and Chad. It was an extraordinary gesture by an extraordinary family. They want everyone to know about the disease that took their young son's life and about a growing movement called Chad Tough. On November 14th, just outside Ann Arbor, Michigan, Christmas came early for five-year-old Chad Carr. It had to. Okay, what are we doing? Um, my name is Brandon. What's today? What is today? Christmas. Chad's been very excited about Christmas. And he had a great day. He loved it. Time is a very strange thing for us right now. Because it feels like it creeps, but at the same time it feels like it flies by. And I don't even think anybody who has not been in our shoes can really understand that. Chad Carr was born a Michigan man on September 25th, 2010. Not that he had a choice. His dad Jason was a Michigan quarterback and met Tammy there. His grandfather, Tom Curtis, was an All-American there. Number 25, Tom Curtis, who leads the Big Ten. And his other grandfather, Lloyd Carr, won a national championship there. You come out of the womb singing the fight song in this house. Chad's a little different, stubborn and tough for sure. He's been that kid that, I'm gonna wear green. I like Michigan State. But he does have to tease his brothers to tease me. Chad the youngest of the Carr family, was like any other little boy growing up. And then in September 2014, he suddenly wasn't. He had fallen and broken his nose. And as we walked out of the ER, he tripped and fell. And I just started thinking about how many times he had fallen recently. The cars took Chad back to the hospital for tests. Those tests revealed he had an aggressive form of pediatric brain cancer called DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. Only about 300 children per year worldwide are diagnosed with this inoperable cancer. You think cancer and you think, okay, what do we need to do to fight this? What's the, what's the treatment? What's the protocol? And when they say there isn't any for this disease, that takes the window. And I remember I just fell on the floor. I sat on the floor in the hospital for a long time. Doctors told the cars that Chad had about nine months to live. As Chad's diagnosis became public, Michigan men everywhere asked how they could help. Coach Harbaugh called us. He said, hey, why don't you bring the kids over? And he played with them for an hour and a half, and it was, uh, you know, it was amazing. He has Tom Curtis blood coursing through his veins. He's got Lloyd Carr, Jason Carr, Tammy Carr, blood coursing through his veins. And you experience love for the little boy and his family. The power of love wasn't confined to Ann Arbor. Rivalries didn't matter. A hashtag became an anthem. boy became an inspiration. Joining the game captains for the coin toss is Chad Chan. Our thoughts and prayers with the Cohen family. But as time passed, Chad's condition slowly worsened. The amazing thing to me is he had never said, not one time, that why can't I walk? 
when is my arm going to work again? He showed us how to get through this. By the time Michigan played Indiana on November 14th, Chad was in hospice care and in the thoughts of those Michigan players. Our guys were moved, not just to dedicate the game to them or write Chad Tough on their helmets, but they're praying and they're praying hard. You saw towards the end of the game, Michigan football wasn't the, wasn't long. Chad was right there with us. We're not gonna pump it, stop and go, and it is a pitch and catch for a touchdown. Michigan survives. On November 21st, as the snow fell softly outside, and those Michigan men played at Penn State, a family stood tender watch. Two days later, and 15 months after his cancer diagnosis, Chad Carr could fight no more. But the impact of the little Michigan man lives on. We have this reach. This kid has this reach. And this disease needs that. So that hopefully, you know, a few years from now, when a kid gets diagnosed, they say, he's got DIPG, and this is how we're going to treat him. I need to know that a lot of good is coming out of that little life. And I believe that is happening. I truly do. And that's an amazing legacy. Hey, my five-year-old son is changing the world. Cars have established the Chad Tough Foundation and have already raised more than $300,000. Earlier this week, they made the difficult decision to donate Chad's tumor to DIPG Research. There will be a moment of silence before the Ohio State-Michigan game today in memory of Chad, and the memorial service will be Sunday. The entire Michigan team will be in attendance. College game day will return after this.